Hi YouTubers and gamers and I'm back and uh, as you know it's another pickup video and today I have um, as usual a wide mix of the games and a few non-game bits first of all starting off with the non-games got an amiibo um, Waddle D from um, Kirby's um, um, latest DS um, game um, 3DS game I should say uh, is it Robot Kid or something? I can't remember what it's called now. Um, but basically that game. Um, I already had the Meta Knight and uh, uh, King Didi Amiibo from the Smash Brothers. So I'm not bothered about getting the, those new figures. But I haven't got Waddle D, so good to have that. Also, um, there's... Um, as we know, um, Disney Infinity has, has, has been um, round up by um, um, Disney. Oh, sounds like a post. I might have to check to see what we got. Yeah, sorry for that interruption. It was a postman. And I have a package here from Japan, so I'll open that in a minute. But as I was saying, uh, yeah, as we know, um, Disney Infinity has been wrapped around, um, it's all been concluded and finished by um, um, Disney unfortunately and it's a shame because I thought Disney Infinity was you know underrated in some respects I know it's another kids um, gaming system with toys and stuff but actually the games were top notch um, uh, I think they're suitable for gamers of all ages and um, as the stalls are sort of getting rid of their stock you know they, you can get some really good deals on the figures and, and accessories and so if you've not got into Disney Infinity, by all means, do give it a, a, a try. The figures are well made and well sculpted, and I think will become um, collectible at some point. Um, I think, you know, there is a finite number. It's not like Skylanders where there's hundreds of them. It's a bit more um, finite than that. And, uh, I've, you know, I've been collecting all the Star Wars ones and most of the Marvel superhero ones. And few other classic Disney characters as well really and uh, now I mean a lot of the shops are selling them brand new for about £5 or £6 and obviously second hand you'll be able to get them for, well, quite cheaply soon so um, but I always get into it um, I got this um, for £2 reduced from about £8 originally and these are the two discs that enable you to play um, bonus level so they're sort of game discs uh, one is like Stitches Tropical Rescue and the other is Brave's um, Forest Siege so for two quid I thought that's not bad for the Disney Infinity collection I also got a few more uh, figures I got the two Tron figures for five pound each but they were in the bag and stuff so I won't bother showing you those but yeah do I do recommend Disney Infinity um, do get um, do pick them up while they're cheap okay um, what else have we got? Okay, what I might as well do is shall we open that package? I know you've been thinking, oh, what's in, what did I get from Japan? Okay, let's open it up. Oh, it's well. Ah, um, okay. Right. For the life of me, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I'm going to have to get my iPad out to um, so I can get the English translation of its title. Basically, I um, played the arcade version of this, I think, or was it a Neo Geo? I can't remember. And it's a top-notch shooter, and it is, you know, it's been a upgraded of HD graphics, and um, is available in Japan only on the PS3. Um, let me just bring up the eBay listing so I know what the bug is called. Um, okay. It's called Ketsui Kazuna Jikoko Tachi. Why couldn't I remember that? Um, yeah, it's, um, it was £34 including shipping. And there's a game. It is um, a top-notch bullet hell shooter. Also with PS3, it's region free, and uh, so highly recommend it. 
I am obviously I'll, I'm going to put this in the machine after this video and give it a go. Um, but yeah, highly recommend that one. Um, not super cheap by any means, but uh, you know, I think in time again these will get sorted after these PS3s. Um, shooters, you know, a bit like the Dreamcasts and Saturn ones, you know, get them while you can. So 34 quid, I think, is not bad. In the light that this will probably go up once the uh, once the supply get uh, runs out. Okay, um, okay. Let's turn to non-gaming gadget. Uh, this is something I've been wanting for a while, and I managed to see one new box to complete. Or fifteen pounds, including shipping, which uh, may sound expensive for a keyboard, which it is. But actually, for this particular keyboard, it's not. It is the uh, Logitech Netplay controller for the PS2. And as you can see, I don't know if you can make out on there. It's got all the classic PS2 buttons and stuff like that. And basically, uh, as you can make out from the keyboard. You can detach your the middle keyboard and just use it as a standalone keyboard, but it's also got the additional on the sides so where you plug it in the PS2 um, controls. And this, you know, this keyboard is um, particularly designed for EverQuest Online Adventures, which I know you can't play now, but Red Faction 2, Unreal Tournament, Star Trek Voyager, Elite Force, and Soldier of Fortune. Includes vibration feedback as well, the, uh, you know, the keyboard does so. It's uh, pre Monty, and to have that new for 15 quid, I'm, 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 I'm over the moon. I really like gadgets and junk like this, I really do. I, I do have a keyboards for the PS3 and and um, a lot of other systems like Dreamcast and stuff, and even, even got a Wii keyboard, believe it or not. So, um, to, to you know, I'm a bit of a sucker for um, unusual accessories like that. Okay. Let's turn to some of the games. Okay, I have one PS1 game, and it's import a game from Japan. It is a a sort of girly fighting game. Uh, it is called um, um, is it Ketsuri Angel Eyes or something like that? It's called Angel Eyes anyway, and. Uh, Again, I played this on my arcade Marla front end machine. I played the arcade version of this, and it's a really good beat 'em up game. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to make out any other pictures there, but yeah, Angel Eyes. Um, I have no means of playing this yet, other than you know the emulator version, which is perfectly fine. But I am planning to get to get a Japanese white PS2 at some point when I've got a spare hundred or odd quid or whatever to get it imported. So um, yeah, um, I've got a handful of PS1 games that are Japanese, but I'm definitely pleased to have that in a physical format. Okay, um, nothing special, just a cheap DS game I got for one ninety nine in game. Um, it's like a hidden object game, uh, but it's got cute graphics. Um, it's called Junior Mystery Stories, and you think, well, that sounds like a kid's game. It's more, it's more like a a cutie, spooky um, um, hidden object game, whereby you play as a little girl who's trying to find her uncle in a, a spooky mansion, and you're ass assisted by the a mysterious um, talking toy called Muki. And so, I don't know, it, it, it's not, I played the first the 10 minutes of this, it's not bad, it's not bad, it's not bad, and definitely for two, for two quid on the DS, I think it's well worth it. And the reviews are very good as well. Okay, uh, on the PSP, got one game, um, Space Invaders Extreme, uh, it's a combination of updated Space Invaders games, but obviously it's by Taito. But it's actually published by Square Enix, which is an interesting um, collaboration. But yeah, so I'm quite pleased to have that. Um, I got that for about three pounds. I did from a uh, some sort of second-hand computer shop in Basildon. 
Okay, turning to the PS3. Uh, CSI Crime Scene Investigation Fatal Conspiracy. I got that for £3 from um, Cash Converters. Uh, this one was £12 from CEX, which is not, not a bad price for this title because it is an expensive PS3 game. And uh, it's Digi uh, Digimon All Star Rumble. Uh, this game was about seven or eight pound from CX. World Rally Championship Three. I'm taking all of these World Rally Championship games. Um, right, this one was a steal. I got this from a, a um, I think it was like Music Magpie or something. One of the independent sellers on Amazon. And um, some people are charging for about twenty-five foot quid for this. I was able to get it from Music um, Music Magpie for six pounds. And as usual, they give a very limited description, like, you know, like, very good, or something. And so it's like hit and miss what you might actually end up getting. But I was so lucky to get this. It's all in very good condition indeed. It's all complete, no damage at all. It's got the manual, whatever you think. And that is uh, the Accuser 4, with limited edition steel book edition. Uh, I have the standard uh, edition of this, but I wanted... Uh, to get the steel book if I could and for six pounds delivered I thought that was a steal. Okay, uh, the next game is it's shown in the background. <coughs> Excuse me, losing my voice. It is another a Japanese um, bullet hell shooter. Um, again it's uh, exclusive to Japan but because it's not PS3 you can play it on a, any PS3 machine, it's region free. And that is um, Caldius Blaze. Um, again, this was about 30 odd pounds delivered. It is a game that's keeping its value, and so um, I think again, this will be a, a, a game to pick up now before it gets expensive because it will. It will. It's a, it's a good bullet hell shoot. I've played it twice. Um, you know, as you go through a game, you can switch your characters, and obviously, you you thought like your ships are different abilities and, and, and function differently. It's a, you know, it's a, not a best uh, bullet hell shooter by any means, but it's certainly, um, you know, a lot of fun all the same. Okay, got a couple of PS Vita games. Uh, got, uh, this was £18 from I get this from Figure CX, and that is Persona 4 Golden. You know, I collect all the Shin Megai Tensai games, and this one um, got this for I think it's about twenty pounds off Amazon. It's all sealed. Um, it's one of those um, sort of. Um, um, slightly dodgy uh, anime uh, games. Um, Singrin Kagura Estaville vs. Um, yeah, I've got the two that were on the 3DS. There is also one on the PS4, I believe, which I've got to get at some point when I get it for a decent price. But uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, I think basically it's a fighting game whereby um, the more you fight, the more close you come off and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Uh, not one for kids to play by any means, but um, uh, still something, you know, to have for the beta collection. I turn to PS4. Um, I have Dragon Age Inquisition. I must have caught um, Cash Converter slipping because this was £6. So I thought that was pretty good. Uh, this was about uh, uh, eight or nine pounds from CEX. Tearaway Unfolded. I had the Vita game, so it's nice to have the PS4 one as well. Okay, um, I bought this on a 360 with a limited edition figure, but I, um, you know, and I explained in my previous video why I got that. Uh, um, it's quite handy because my daughter was able to play out on her Xbox 360, but in, but I also wanted it on the PS4. And Amazon in the UK did a special steel book edition which comes with a season pass. 
And so that is Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, the steel box edition, so that's very nice. I will be playing that very soon. I was hoping to do some of that this afternoon, maybe. Alright, this next game is, um, is one or two limited run games I'm after. I'm also after uh, Abe's Odyssey, or whatever it's called. Uh, or Oddworld, what it's called. Um, I'm still after that on the PS4 for a fair price. But uh, I picked this up for £38 including shipping. Obviously it's from a, a, a reseller off eBay, but I thought that's not too bad a price really. I missed out on uh, getting it from um, Limited Run directly. And it comes with a sticker and a postcard. And that is, um, it's all sealed, it is Octodad the deadliest catch and that's one of those little weird uh, funky um, PlayStation Network indie games originally but also they've, they've given a physical release and so yeah I'm happy to have that one uh, out of them two one games a lot of them don't really interest me but this and the old world one are two that certainly do um, okay turning to the last game I, I, I got um, I do have a copy of this ordered as well from Japan on the PS3, which hasn't arrived yet. I'm pleased to get it on a PS4. It was sold as used, but actually it's all new and sealed, which is quite, you know a, a nice pleasant surprise. It's from a lovely Japanese seller. It's, it's, it's ended up ends up sending me a few little or, um, origami folded little toy bits, which I gave to Caitlin, my daughter. Um, a really nice friendly seller. This was about. Um, £45 um, delivered from Japan uh, which is a good price, a very good price uh, ironically the PS3 one cost me £54 so, you know, a £10 more on top from a different seller but uh, I'm really glad to have a PS4 edition it's part of a um, well, it's, it's, it's part of a shining, shining series of games it's only a Japanese only it is a fighting game and this is um, Blade Arcus um, from Shining EX. It's a Tony's premium fan box, and I think Tony, can't remember his surname. He was like a, a designer or something from the from the games, and basically this comes with the, obviously the uh, uh, the game, two different types of music soundtracks, a calendar, and a rather risque art book as well. Um, yeah. I thought £44 for that was only a slightly uh, more than just a disc copy on its own really so uh, I thought that was a good price for this set and as it's part of a Shining series of games um, it's going to go up in value I've got no doubt about it whatsoever really um, it's a fighting game so it being in Japanese, a Japanese language and stuff it's not a problem um, I have got another Shining game exclusive from Japan on order which is going to be more difficult to play because of a, of a language issue and I think that's, uh, was it Shining Resonance or something coming on the, in the post um, but yeah I'm pleased to have this for the collection on the PS4 like I said I do have a PS3 edition as well of this coming in the post which has got different packaging slightly Okay guys, uh, that's it for my pickups uh, over the past couple of weeks. A bit of a Japanese edition I would probably say really. Um, um, certainly some unusual games there. And, um, and um, some cheapies as well. So um, by all means uh, like and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments, always love replying to comments. And until next time, take care. Bye.